Hi boys and girls, today I am reading chapter 32, so we are right at the end of the story now. So I will get going with that. So chapter 32 is called Actually Too Much Fudge. Running down the stairs was easier than going up, and before the paint was dry on the side of the van, Zoe was breathlessly showing Armitage the results of her and her father's hard work. Dad climbed into the van and opened the sliding hatch. Zoe had never seen her father looking so happy. Right, so, you're my first customer. What would you like, madam? Hmm. Zoe surveyed the flavours. It was a very long time since she had tasted the delicious frozen dessert. She wasn't even sure if she'd ever had ice cream since those evenings when her dad would rush home from the factory with some crazy new flavour for her to try. Cone or cup, madam? Her, asked her dad, already relishing his new job. Cone, please, replied Zoe. Any particular flavour take your fancy? Asked Dad with a smile. Zoe leaned over the counter and studied the long line of mouth-watering flavours. After all those years in the factory, Dad really didn't know how to make some truly scrumptious ice cream. There was. Triple chocolate sundae, strawberry and hazelnut swirl, fudge fudge and more fudge, toffee popcorn explosion, caramel and honeycomb crunch, fudge-tastic surprised, tutti frutti lutti, raspberry ripple with dark chocolate chunks, Double fudge and coconut cream, cookie and caramel crunch, fudge, fudge, fudge and more fudge, toffee and peanut butter swirl, pistachio and white chocolate, banoffee pie with mega fudge chunks, butterscotch bonbon boom, marshmallow milkshake supreme, quadruple choc chip with honey swirls, milk cho mini chocolate eggs and fruits of the forest, snail and broccoli, fudge, 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 actually now too much fudge. It was the most magnificent collection of ice cream flavours in the world, apart from the snail and broccoli, obviously. Mmm, they all look delicious, Dad. It's just too hard to make a decision. Father peered down at his array of ice creams. Then I will just have to give you one of each. OK, said Zoe, but maybe could you leave out snail and broccoli? Her dad bowed. As you wish, madame. As his daughter giggled, he piled her cone up with flavour after flavour until it was nearly as tall as she was. With Armitage in one hand, she balanced the impossibly tall ice cream cone in the other. I can't eat it all on my own, laughed Zoe. She looked up at the tower block and saw Tina looking down at her from the 37th floor. Tina, come down, shouted Zoe at the very top of her voice. Soon, lots of children were poking their faces out of the window of their flats, wondering what all the noise was about. All of you, shouted Zoe up at them. She recognised a few of them, but most of them she didn't know. Some she even thought she'd never seen before in her life even though they were so closely crammed into this huge, ugly leaning building together. Come on down, everyone, help me finish my ice cream. Within seconds, hundreds of kids with dirty but eager little faces were running down to the car park to take their turn to have a bite of Zoe's ridiculously tall ice cream. After a few moments, the little girl entrusted with the tower of ice cream to Tina, who made sure all the kids received their fair share, especially the tiny ones whose little mouths couldn't reach that high. As the sound of laughter rose and the sun went down, smiling, Zoe broke away from the laughing children and sat alone on a nearby wall. She brushed the litter off the wall and brought Armitage up to her face. Then she gave him a tender little kiss on top of his head. Thank you, she whispered to him. I love you. Armitage tilted his head and looked up at her with the sweetest little smile on his face. Eek, 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 he said, which of course, from rat to English, English translates as, thank you, I love you too. And that's a picture of all the children eating the ice cream. Now that is the end of the chapter, but there is an epilogue, which I think someone is reading for you tomorrow. So that's just a tiny wee bit of the story afterwards that you'll get tomorrow. So I hope you've enjoyed that, that chapter and the story. See you later.